In this video, we're going to learn how to edit the sketch of an existing floor. And what this means is edit the way that the existing floor currently is formed. In this particular instance, we'll be able to see that this part of the building has a floor going all the way through it. Now there's two different ways that we can add openings to a floor. One way is to use what's called an opening object in the floor. The other way is modify the sketch of the floor so that there's a hole right in that location of the floor. To accomplish this, we first need to select on the floor object. And we're on level two. And honestly, selecting on this floor object could be easy or it could be difficult. The reason why I say that is, is that if you move up here toward the top, you may accidentally select on such things as the curtain wall or select on one of those exterior walls. And if we want to grab onto the floor, we can't just window around it because that won't select it. One way that you can grab onto a floor is just window around everything in the view, coming up to the filter, which will show up on the ribbon, and then clearing out the check mark next to each of these different items except for the floor. Then if you click on OK, you'll only have the floor selected. The other way that you could do it though, is if the floor wasn't selected, is that you can move your cursor over to right about where the edge of the floor is at, then click the tab key on your keyboard. Eventually, that floor will highlight and you can click in order to select the floor. So by hitting the tab key, it will cycle through the different objects that are sitting there and eventually it'll give you your floor to click on. Once you have your floor highlighted, there's an option that says edit boundary. If you select on that, you'll see these purple slash magenta lines going all the way around where the floor's boundary has been at. At this point, if I selected on any of these lines, I could then delete it or modify it or draw in new lines, whatever the case may be. For this instance though, I'd like to add a hole right in this area. A fast way for me to do that is to select on the rectangle command and draw in some extra lines. Once I have those in place, I even have the opportunity to lock these by clicking on the little padlocks that show up. What this will do is if any of these walls should move a few inches in this direction or a few inches in that direction, then the floor will update as well to match the opening that those walls are trying to create. Whenever this is done, click on the big green check mark. It'll ask, would you like the walls that go up to this floor's level to attach to its bottom? I'll say yes to that. And now it's referring to any walls that may have been in a level down below. Would we still want those to attach to the bottom of the floor? And the answer to that question was yes. Now it's difficult to see whether or not it's cut that opening right now. But if you move down here and select on this box and click on shaded, we can then see the gray area is where the floor is located at. And the white area is that new hole that we just created. So if you ever need to make a modification to a floor, the first thing you need to do is select the floor. And you can either use your tab key by coming over to the edge of the floor and hitting tab until it highlights, or just window around the floor and then filter out everything but your floor object. Then once you have it, you can do edit boundary to make modifications to either the exterior or interior boundaries to change your floor shape. You can add arcs, circles, and a variety of other shapes to create pretty much any kind of floor condition as far as outer dimensions are concerned that you might need for your flooring conditions.